Hello, everybody. This is Gary. Today is Sunday, July 7, 2019. It is 1.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. Um, wanted, and this is my coping with schizophrenia entry for today. Um, I wanted to talk today about whether or not people who are mentally ill, particularly schizophrenics and other psychotic people, should they get a pet? And the answer to that question is yes. Um, animal therapy is one of the best therapies out there to help relax you, make you feel calmer, um, less alone. Um, and you should only get a pet though, like a dog or a cat, if you are capable of taking care of it. Um, so talk to your psychiatrist, your therapist, your family, your friends, get back, get some feedback on whether or not um, they think you're capable of taking care of an animal and not treating it poorly or in a cruel fashion. Um, I myself was thinking about getting a cat. I contacted my landlord and they said I can get a cat without a security deposit um, above and beyond the security deposit I gave them when I first moved in. So I'm going to be looking to get a cat. My apartment is too small for a dog, even a small dog. Um, so I don't want to be cruel to an animal by getting an animal that's too large for my apartment. Um, and pet therapy and having animals around has been known to reduce anxiety, tension, muscle strain, um, depression, loneliness, among other things. Um, does owning a pet reduce psychotic symptoms by itself? No, it doesn't. But it might make it easier to cope with those things. Um, in Rochester, New York, you can get a animal adopted at a place called Lollipop Farm. It's run by the Humane Society of Monroe County, and that's in New York State. And there are plenty of um, similar, well, for lack of a better ter better term, animal shelters throughout the country where you can get a pet. Um, but getting a pet means getting all of its shots, getting it fixed um, so it doesn't reproduce. Um, getting rid of fleas, ticks, giving, make sure it gets all its shots so it's not infected with anything, make sure that it doesn't have worms, all the things you would expect a vet to do. Having a pet can be expensive, and that might prevent some people from getting a pet, um, but those things are necessary. You shouldn't just get a pet and not take it to the vet and get it all of its shots and all of its um, vet check, checkups that it needs. Um, so money might be a problem for some people um, to prevent them from getting a pet. Um, but call up your local humane society and ask them what the costs are in getting a pet that are required by local laws in your area. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting a cat. After I talk to my psychiatrist and my therapist and my friends and family, they all agree that I can pretty much take care of an animal pretty well. Um, and I will have to spend money on it to make sure that it's properly taken care of. There's no way around that. Not if you're going to do what is right by yourself and by the animal that you're adopting. Um, and that's another thing. Don't go to for-profit pet stores that sell dogs and cats from puppy mills because they're treated very cruelly and they're mass-produced and treated very, very poorly. And you shouldn't give your money and time to professional people who sell pets as a living. Um, go to your local humane society shelter and go through the process of adopting a pet that's been abandoned or is lost and maybe put down soon if it doesn't get a new home. Um, so if anybody has any comments or suggestions, go ahead and like this video and share it and if you have any other suggestions about pets leave them in the comment section